Hey, it's the Midnight Roman, and today we're creating a seaside decor item from my front room. So first of all, we're starting off with this amazingly gorgeous shell dish that I got from a charity shop. Would you believe? I paid, I think it was around £3 for it, and oh my god, it is heavy. Then you're going to need one of these. This is the Better Homes and Garden Caribbean Sea Breeze Potpourri Set. Now, I picked this up, I believe it was from B&M's or Pound Stretchers, and it was literally a few quid. It was in their sale at some point. Um, I've had this for a while, though. I think I bought this maybe before Christmas or just after. So, let's see what this um, has. So, you've got all of the seashells, and then we have a little bottle of what I believe is the scent and the scent is sea breeze, pineapple, honeydew, coconut water, sea salt, orchid, moss and white wood scent notes like literally look there's the kitchen sink in there so let's see what we've got in this thing so we've got like this hollow shell couple of little bits like this obviously you know if they're stuck together you could break them up or whatever I have some of these which are also kind of cool let's, let's just start there got some of these they're like little ones got some actual shells as well look how cute that is let's just change the angle of it got some more so these are quite cool. Then we have lots of these little green eggs. Tons of green eggs. And there you go. And you don't have to be like meticulous. You could theoretically just tip these all in like tip it in like this and just willy-nilly throw it in. You can be a bit more definitive um, with your throwing. See this one is all right but it kind of i don't know what it is so we're gonna put that one over there for a minute we also have some starfish which are kind of cool a lot of these are kind of the same you've got more of the green ones and stuff so it is kind of samey you do obviously have these bigger ones again and inside they have other ones it's like it's like they're sprouting there's some more of these really cool red ones now this you could just do at home do on your day off just lay them out you don't necessarily have to have a shell plate bowl um i have a boat like um like a lilaing boat that i could put some of these in you got this bit here colored driftwood i guess Um, you don't have to use it all in, like, one display either. You could spread them out. Um, this one, again, I've got another one of them. More green balls. There's quite a lot of green in this. I was hoping for, like, blue and green, but it turned out to be more, sort of, green-based. You do have, like, these beige bits and that. So, I mean, honestly, it doesn't really have, like, a theme. There is, you can just sort of, you know, mix it up and make room for the rest. So, what you have is you have quite a lot of the green ones, quite a lot of this. You've got these little tiny ones. Not really sure. And you've got like these two half eggs, which honestly, I, I don't know. They're just kind of ominous. You've obviously got the starfish. But you've also got these, which are like balls. Now, honestly, compared to what this looks like, just dumping these on, it looks messy. Um... I'm not really sure about these ones they kind of look a bit bulky for like 
what I'm looking for. I mean, you could put them under there and, like, hide them, I guess. And, like, if you had something maybe deeper, you could, like, conform to doing it. But I kind of like it where it's like this. And I put the starfish sort of in the middle. So it looks like this. I mean, I think that looks kind of cute. Obviously, you've got these. So you could display these around the dish. Obviously, not on this. This is my um, art tray. Uh, but you could, you know, use it... Um, you know, aesthetically, and then you take this oil, I believe, it's got a lid on it, like this, and it's just got a dropper at the top, and I'm going to guess that you just like this, see, you just like douse it, Ooh. and then obviously, um, you can keep refilling it, keep topping it up, up a seal. Obviously, the um, potpourri loses its colour. Sometimes potpourri, if you have it in a window, can fade. So do be careful of your potpourri fading. Uh, let's take a smell. Ooh, it smells very coastal. Like I said, this was the thing. So you've got sea breeze, pineapple, honeydew, coconut water, sea salt, orchid, um, muget, moss, and white wood notes. So it is sea, but it's not what you call a British sea. It's more like the tropical, hence the Caribbean sea. I got this, I'm sure I got this from Pound Stretcher, and I'm sure it was a couple of quid. Um, I think it was Pound Stretcher. Ooh, I don't know. I think it was Pound Stretcher, and I think it was only a couple of pound. They had been reduced because they had a lot of these left um, over, and they weren't really selling, and then I think they reduced them to, like, two, and I bought it. But, yeah, take a look at this. You get everything that's in this bowl. You don't get the bowl, obviously. I bought that. But you get everything here. Plus these ones. Uh, plus you get the oil included. And it was only a couple of quid. And then you could just put this on your side. And it smells. Makes the room smell of a Caribbean sea breeze. They did have other ones. Uh, they did do a bag one. But it didn't have like the bigger. I suppose spits in. I might take a look at them next time. Um, but let me know what you think. I think this is quite cute. It's going to go on my side and it makes the room smell really nice. And then every day or once a week, you can just re-put a couple of these drops on. And there's quite a lot in there. And then once you finish that, you can obviously get some more of these drops from somewhere. Um, you can get potpourri oil um, elsewhere. Or you can just buy a whole new set and do something a bit different or change the colour or whatever can have these in any room they're suitable for all places even the kitchen can have something like this because it's not highly based chemical it's more like an aroma so it ain't gonna take your food or take the room you could preferably put it in somewhere that isn't damp so maybe not your bathroom per se but what do you think let me know down below like and subscribe give it a big thumbs up let me know if you use potpourri around your house and I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.